Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about phototropism. So first, what's tropism? Tropism is a word which indicates curvature. This curvature occurs in the plant, whether it was in the stem or in the roots. Um, this curvature is a result from the adaptation of plant to the surrounding environment. So there are some several factors that surrounds the environment where the plant lives and um, they are the plant is exposed equally to all these elements of nature. But when these elements of nature are just provided to some, some areas of the plant and other areas of the plant are not provided with these elements, uh, this leads to this curvature. These elements are like water, light, gravity, and so on. So simply, uh, troopers is a phenomenon which shows or provokes the uh, sensitivity in plants. How are the plants affected by the surrounding environment? And there are several types of tropisms, like um, phototropisms that we are going to talk about today, geotropism, the effect of gravity on the plant, hydrotropism, the effect of water in uh, or on the plant. And we will talk about each one of these separately in a video. So first we'll talk about phototropism. So whenever we see the word photo here, we know that it's related to light. So phototropism is the curvature which occurs in the plant due to the different um, distribution of light. So if you carry an experiment like that, we have a box and we have a beaker which contains water. And there is a core player here. So a sibling is planted in this cork layer so that a stem grows and a root grows inside the water. There is a hole in the box so that light goes into the box from this hole only. So this is the only source of light for the plant which grows in here. What happens is the stem of the plant grows so that it's curved towards the light, while the opposite occurs in the roots. We will notice that the root grows in the other direction. So the stem grows in the direction of the bright part of the box, the root grows in the direction of the dark part of the box. So what's the reason for this? So researches were done and there was a scientist called Boysen Jensen and this scientist cut the small part of the tip of the stem of an oat coleoptile. So what he observed is, when he cut this small 
tip of the stem, no curvature took place. And when he returned this step again by using gelatine, the curvature occurred. Just like that. So this is the coleoptop. He cut this part so that um, no curvature took place. Then he replaced it again and he separated between the tip and the stem by a metallic shed. Also, no curvature took place. But when he replaced the tip on this stem and he fixed it using gelatine, curvature occurred. We know that the metallic shaft is a, an insulator and the gelatine connects between the tip and the stem. This indicates that there are some sort of um, productions of the tip which diffuse through the gelatine and doesn't diffuse through the metallic shaft. They reach the stem and they lead to the curvature. So, these productions of the tip are called the auxins. They are called auxins. These auxins are considered as plant hormones. They are considered as plant hormones. Uh, there are some examples for auxins like indole, acetic acid, IAA for short. So this angle, acetic acid, diffuses from the tip of the plant to the stem and it's the same way in the roots and they lead to the curvature. So now we know the reason of the curvature. But why in exact does the stem um, make a curve towards the direction of light and it's vice versa in the roots. So, now we know the source of auxins, the tip of the step. So, he put the tip of the stem on an agar block. So the rectangle in here is an agar block. The agar block absorbs the auxins which are produced from the tip of the plant. So at the normal position, auxins are produced on equal terms on both right and left sides or on both dark and light sides. So it's 50% and 50%. But when the light is found on one side and darkness is found on the other side, the ratio is 65% of the auxins are found on the dark side and 35% of the auxins are found on the bright or the side where the light is found. So this indicates that when the plant faces the lights, the auxins move from the bright side to the dark side. And when they move to the dark side, they increase the ability of cells on this dark side, this one in here, to grow more faster to grow more rapidly and on the other side on the 35% side the growth uh, becomes more slower this leads to the curvature of the plant towards the light this is in the stem and from this we conclude that the stem is positive phototrophic the stem is positive phototrophic 
The same distribution of auxins is found in the roots, but the effect is the opposite. So when there is a high percentage of auxins at one side of the root, the 65% of auxins in the dark side inhibit the growth of cells on this side and they induce the growth of cells, make them grow more rapidly on the bright side so that the curvature takes this uh, shape and um, it, it's directed to the dark side. And from this we conclude that the root is negative phototropic. So that was phototropic. The stem is a positive phototropic because it bends towards the direction of light, while the root is negative phototropic because it bends away from the direction of light. Tropism is um, uh, made by auxins and auxins are considered as plant hormones and the most uh, important example of auxins is the indole acetic acid so this is it for today and the next time we will talk about zeotropism the tropism which occurs due to the uh, effect of gravity on the plant and until then I thank you for watching and see you